There's really only two rules about truth, and they're the two that I've just mentioned, and that is the truth is always loving. Always. And I'll rub out the best bit. Truth is always loving. And the second thing is truth is always emotional. Ow. Sorry about that. Truth is always emotional. In other words, you can hear truth in your head as much as you want. It will never become a part of your soul until your soul emotionally accepts this truth or until the emotion preventing the truth from entering the soul is released so that you can accept the truth. Right? But if we remember that the truth is always loving and the truth is always emotional and we can experiment with that in our lives, we can experiment in our day-to-day -day lives about that. That's all right, thanks. <coughs> what, um, what about emotions of self-deception? Yep. Where does that, you know, like you say, it's, it's always emotional and then... Um, say, for example, I was feeling emotion and emotion, it was actually an emotion of self-deception. I felt that for six months. Yeah, but the question is, is self-deception loving? Well, I might deceive myself that it is. True. Yep. So what we want to do then is look at the emotions of self-deception. In other words, emotions that I have that are just deceiving myself about how I really feel. And let's look at most of those emotions of self-deception. One of the first emotions of self-deception is anger. Right. Now, is anger a loving emotion? No. So I can straight away, any time I'm angry, I know that I'm not in truth. Does that make sense? Straight away. I know whatever it is that's just been presented at me or whatever it is that's been triggered in me, I can't accept this as true. I'm angry. Something's going on inside of me. I need to feel that. What are the other emotions of self-deception? Uh, shame. Now, is shame a loving emotion towards myself? No. So therefore, it has to be an emotion that in the end will disappear from me. Now, I'm not saying to not feel them, am I? Remember that. No, I'm not saying to not feel these emotions. So I'm saying if you're angry, you need to first connect with your anger to work out what's underneath your anger. You don't need to project it at everyone and sundry. You need to feel it and fully experience it to, to experience the anger. But whatever you're angry about isn't the truth. The fact that your anger is telling you that it's not the truth because anger is not in harmony with love. Right? So I can be here feeling like I'm really upset with you because you told me a lie. And I can be blaming you. You told the lie, you're the one I'm upset with. And right in that moment, I'm in untruth because for a start, I'm angry, I'm upset with you. I'm angry with you, so therefore I am not harmonious with love. I'm in self-deception. So it's no longer truth. The truth is always loving, including loving myself. What about um, emotions of self-deception that might be um, positive, like feeling, you know, say for example, I meditated a lot or I, I feel like I'm in a state of bliss and so, you know, I'm in bliss. But you have other tools at your disposal to tell you whether that's a true state or not. The law of attraction is a tool at your disposal that will tell you that. So, for instance, we were talking, I was talking with Josh a few weeks ago. Is Josh here today? I don't think he is. Um, but we were talking together about his emotions about when he, he was doing the Zen thing all the time. He would, he would meditate himself into emotions of bliss and he felt bliss most of the time. 
But then I said, well, what happened in your day-to-day -day life? He said, oh, during that time my car broke down, my computer was stolen and, <laughs> and all these other things happened, right? But he still experienced bliss. And I'm saying, no, no, rewind, rewind, rewind. No, how come your car was stolen or your computer was stolen? How come your car broke down? Right? How come all these events happen? This is a soul attraction. So look at the soul attraction. But again, if I'm truthful with myself, I will always be emotional about the attraction. Remember, the truth is always emotional. So when I'm trying to detune myself and go into the intellectual state to get away from my emotion, I am no longer being truthful with myself about my emotion. Does that make sense? I'm basically using my intellect to suppress my emotion. But I've said truth is always emotional. You will not arrive at truth without feeling your emotion. So the truth is you can zen yourself out and you can do a lot of very powerful things with your mind to detune yourself from your soul. But that's not emotional, that's now intellectual. And the truth so is that, always emotional. Sorry. So that state of bliss is actually deceptive because that's not Yes, real and bliss. there's many people on this planet today who are in that state of bliss and really all that's happening is they're going out of body so they don't have to connect to their body, they don't have to connect to their life, they don't have to connect to their emotions. And they, spare, they experience hours and sometimes days and sometimes months in that state. I, I know people who are full of physical ailments, like their body is full of pain, like, like holes in their legs or you know, maybe even cancer in their body and yet they feel they're in a state of bliss. And the only thing I can say is that they're lying to themselves because in the end, do you think your body would be in that disharmonious mess if your soul was in harmony with God's laws of the universe? Of course not. So looking at the law of attraction is very important really as a guide. Certainly. And we've talked about that before, yeah. obviously. Remember yeah. I've said to you that your law of attraction is actually a messenger of God for you to take notice of, definitely. And I'm not discounting that by saying these things. What I'm saying is remember the way that we can build on truth is that the truth is always loving us and always emotional. Right? So you have lots and lots of experiences in your life that the law of attraction brings into you and a lot of emotions that the law of attraction will bring to you. The ones that will finish up settling in your soul are the ones that, if we apply this, are the ones that are loving to myself, to my neighbour, to my partner, to God, to animals, to creatures and all of them will be emotions that I actually feel, not just an intellectual thought. I'll actually have this passionate, desirous emotion along with that. They are the ones that will enter us. The other ones will all just pass through us and, and in the end we'll experience them and release them from our life and they'll be gone. And they'll be gone, all the false belief will be gone and all the fear attached to that false belief will be gone and all the fear of our own emotions that are painful will all be gone. All the pain will also disappear. So that obviously truth is always loving means that truth is never painful as well. Right? And we could start saying lots of different things about truth here, couldn't we? Like, truth has so many qualities. I've, I've listed in the uh, talk qualities of divine truth, like 15 major qualities of God's truth and how it affects your life. Now, now the truth has lots of different attributes and qualities and I'm just mentioning only a couple of them here. As a method of you, just a simple method of you being able to say to yourself, all right, should I accept this truth, what I, you know, this information, should I accept this information coming to me as truth or not? <coughs> well, does it sound loving to you right at the moment? If it does, then allow yourself to be open to accepting it. I'm not saying you have to accept it, just allow yourself to be open to accept it. Does that make sense? If, and if the truth is an emotional thing or is it all intellectual, is it all mind-based, if it's mind-based, just put it aside for a bit until it becomes an emotion for you. You don't have to dismiss it. You don't have to say that's wrong, that's right, right at this point. It's a learning process. Allow yourself to just allow yourself to see the principles of the truth is emotional, the truth is always loving. And the ones that seem to be loving at the moment, put to one side and say this is my preferred truth list. It hasn't entered me just yet because it hasn't entered me emotionally 
But I, I think this is loving at this point. And allow yourself to feel that.